Highgate Cemetery, a haunting legacy. Nestled in the heart of North London, Highgate Cemetery stands as a silent sentinel to the lives and deaths of many notable figures, including Catherine Dickens, wife of Charles Dickens, William Freeze Green, inventor of cinematography, and George Michael, singer and songwriter. Designed by the visionary architect Stephen Geary, this sprawling necropolis, split between its west and east sides, houses approximately 170,000 souls in around 53,000 graves. Highgate's journey into the macabre began on May 26, 1839, with the interment of Elizabeth Jackson, a lonely spinster. This burial ground, perched high above London's grime, quickly became the final destination of choice for the esteemed and the ordinary alike. Its Victorian Gothic allure, embodied by Egyptian sepulchres and mesmerizing gargoyles, tells tales of both solemn ceremonies and ghastly exhumations. The cemetery's dark corridors extend through the eerie Egyptian avenue and the foreboding circle of Lebanon, where tombs and vaults weave a labyrinthine path through the hillside. A monumental cedar of Lebanon watches over this land of the dead, casting long shadows that amplify the cemetery's spectral ambience. Over the years, Highgate has witnessed the unsettling and the unholy. Police patrols, while steadfast, failed to quell the undercurrents of darkness. Graves desecrated, whispers of satanic rituals, and the chilling discovery in August 1970 of a charred, headless corpse found just outside the cemetery's gates. Today, Highgate Cemetery remains not just a burial ground, but a haunting relic of the past. Its mature trees and untamed flora create a nature reserve, a deceptive veil over the morbid history that lingers. When strolling its haunted paths, one cannot escape the sensation of unseen eyes watching, the spirits of poets, painters, and the destitute reaching out from their eternal rest. For those daring enough to visit, Highgate Cemetery offers guided tours of its oldest, most ornate sections, ensuring that no one ventures alone into its ghostly embrace. The chilling allure of Highgate continues to mesmerize, a testament to the Victorian fascination with death and the unknowable world beyond. Epping Forest, a realm of shadows and secrets. Looming on the outskirts of London, Epping Forest stretches its ancient arms over a 2,400 hectare realm steeped in mystery and shadow. This dense woodland, with its gnarled trees and impenetrable thickets, has long inspired tales of the eerie and the unexplained. Epping Forest's sinister reputation is not merely folklore. It was once the notorious hunting ground of the infamous highwayman, Dick Turpin, whose ghostly figure is said to ride the moonlit paths, echoing his once dreaded presence. Even today, whispers claim that those who wander too deep might hear the spectral galloping of Turpin's phantom steed. The forest itself is a living, breathing enigma. The moss-covered trees and ancient twisted branches seem to form faces, watching your every move with silent intensity. As you venture deeper, the atmosphere shifts. Sunlight battles to penetrate the dense canopy, casting the forest floor into shadowy twilight. Every rustle, every snap of a twig underfoot, sets the heart racing with primordial fear. Many a lost soul has vanished within Epping's grasp. Stories abound of hikers and nature lovers entering the forest's depths, only to emerge hours later with no memory of their time within, or, more chillingly, never re-emerging at all. 
The forest guards its secrets fiercely, an ever-watchful entity that decides who may leave and who might be ensnared forever. The forest floor is peppered with ancient Iron Age earthworks and ghostly remnants of bygone eras. Ambresbury Banks and Loughton Camp, ancient fortifications shrouded in mystery, add to the forest's haunted allure. It's said that on quiet nights, the air is thick with the echoes of ancient battles and the whispers of long-dead soldiers. When night falls, Epping Forest transforms into a realm best left undisturbed. The moonlight casts an eerie glow on the trees and the forest teems with unseen presences. Local folklore speaks of spectral figures and will-o'-the-wisps leading travellers astray. Strange lights hover over Baldwin's Pond, remnants of rituals, or perhaps something far older and more sinister. For those who dare to explore, Epping Forest offers more than a stroll in the woods. It promises an encounter with the unknown. Its haunted paths and spectral stories beckon the brave and the foolhardy. But beware, Epping Forest is a place where shadows hold secrets and echoes of the past linger, forever waiting to ensnare those who venture too deep. Tower Bridge, sentinel of secrets and shadows. During the 2007 establishment of the notorious London Bridge experience, a horrifying remnant of eras past was unveiled. A pit filled to the brim with skeletal remains, chilling testament of plague-torn times. The grisly discovery rattled the builders, compelling them to shy away from solitary work. Long shrouded in treacherous history, London Bridge serves as an eerie backdrop. Under Tudor rule, the heads of traitors were gruesomely exhibited on spikes lining the bridge. This spine-chilling practice was evident in the excavation findings, as several craniums bore holes indicative of impalement. Such blood-curdling epochs undeniably imprinted a spectral presence on London's story. Beyond its established role in London's skyline, Tower Bridge is veiled in a spectral guise. Erected adjacent to the Tower of London in 1894, this bascule and suspension bridge, marked by lofty pillars and a high-level walkway, cloaks a deathly secret. Its towers once a tomb for bodies, surreptitiously brought by boat and stored in grim silence. Ghost tales from Tower Bridge are rife with unnerving encounters. Its high-level walkways eyewitness to countless fatalities during construction now harbour spectral figures and ominous presences as they tug at the clothing of visitors and impose an oppressive ambience. A recent visitor recounted a spine-chilling encounter with a malignant spirit, causing her to flee the building in dread. If you seek a spectral trial of your nerves, an invitation stands at London Bridge. Ghostly explorations operate daily from 10 in the morning until the evening's fifth hour. Beneath Tower Bridge's foundations lurks a morbid secret. It was once a morgue, the final docking site for the bodies transported across the Thames. Now empty, its historical past casts a grim shadow over its present. Ghostly figures and phantom sensations have been reported in the walkways of the bridge, most likely connected to the unnecessary loss of lives during its construction from 1886 to 1894. Unseen forces yank at garments and exert a weighty presence, invoking a sense of dread and unease. Furthermore, the engine rooms beneath the architecture of this London landmark are anything but serene. Visitors report confrontations with malevolent entities, ghostly harassers that push, trip, and ensue a terrifying chase. Tower of London, a fortress of fear, 
and phantoms. Rising ominously above the River Thames, the Tower of London stands as a chilling monument to a history steeped in blood and betrayal. For nearly a thousand years, this formidable fortress has witnessed unimaginable horrors, its cold stone walls echoing the whispers of tortured souls and traitors. Originally built by William the Conqueror in 1078, the tower's imposing presence has served as a royal palace, a treasury, and most infamously, a prison. The mere mention of the Tower of London conjures images of dark dungeons, execution scaffolds, and the ghastly figure of the executioner forever ready to claim another life. Among the tower's most notorious prisoners was Anne Boleyn, the ill-fated queen who met her tragic end within these very walls. It's said her spectral figure roams the grounds, her head cradled under her arm, as if searching eternally for justice. Her ghostly apparition is often seen near the site of her execution, the haunting strains of her sorrow lingering long after she fades from view. The tower's infamous bloody tower holds yet more macabre secrets. It was here that the young princes in the tower, Edward V and his brother Richard, were imprisoned and mysteriously vanished. Their tragic tale cloaks the tower in perpetual enigma. Were they murdered in their sleep by their power-hungry uncle, Richard III? The restless spirits of the innocent princes are said to haunt the cold stone rooms, their faint cries echoing through the ages. No account of the tower's spectral presence is complete without mentioning the ghost of Thomas Becket, the martyr and saint. Legend has it that a fiery knight, assumed to be Becket, appeared to thwart the construction of a section of the tower, ensuring his legacy of defiance against royal tyranny remains forever etched in its haunted stones. The chilling white tower stands as the oldest and central structure, home to the crown jewels, glittering treasures that contrast starkly with the darkness enshrouding their storied abode. But even these royal gems are not free from the tower's haunting grip. Guards have reported seeing shadowy figures and hearing unexplained footsteps in the jewel house. The aptly named Traitor's Gate, an imposing water entrance, sent chills down the spine of every accused traitor who passed through, knowing it might be their last glimpse of the world outside before facing gruesome torture or execution. The waterborne entrance is rumored to be haunted by the spirits of those who felt the sting of injustice as they were ferried to their doom. Every stone, every tower, and every corner of this ancient fortress pulses with the energies of the past. The Tower of London is not just a relic of history, but a living testament to the countless souls whose lives were consumed by its shadowy grip. For those brave enough to tread its haunted halls, the tower offers a chilling whisper of the dark secrets locked within its walls, an eternal reminder of the human stories of power, passion, and peril that still haunt the living today.